Have you ever found yourself trapped in a maze of negative thoughts, unable to break free? Do you ever wonder why certain patterns of thinking seem to hold such power over us, dictating our emotions and actions? What if I told you that there are techniques you can learn to dismantle these thought patterns, liberating yourself from their grip, and paving the way for a brighter, more empowered future? Today, we embark on a journey of self-discovery and transformation as we explore 10 powerful strategies for breaking free from negative thought patterns. Join me as we delve deep into how to break free from negative thought pattern to cultivate a more positive and empowered mindset using cognitive approach. Recognizing negative thoughts. The first step in breaking free from negative thought patterns is to become aware of them. This involves recognizing when negative thoughts arise and identifying the specific patterns or themes that characterize them. Common types of negative thought patterns include catastrophizing, imagining the worst case scenario, black and white thinking, seeing things as all good or all bad, and personalization, assuming responsibility for things that are beyond our control. One helpful strategy for recognizing negative thoughts is to pay attention to our emotional reactions and physical sensations as these can often be clues that negative thinking is at play. Additionally, keeping a thought diary or journal can help us track our thoughts over time and identify recurring patterns. By shining a light on our negative thought patterns, we can begin to understand how they impact our mood, behavior, and overall well-being, laying the groundwork for challenging and changing them. Practicing Thought Diffusion In addition to challenging negative thoughts directly, Practicing thought diffusion is a valuable technique in the cognitive approach to breaking free from negative thought patterns. Thought diffusion involves learning to observe our thoughts as passing mental events rather than absolute truths. This technique encourages us to create distance from our thoughts, recognizing that they are simply products of our minds and not necessarily reflective of reality. One way to practice thought diffusion is through visualization where we imagine our thoughts as leaves floating down a stream or clouds passing by in the sky. By adopting this perspective, we can reduce the power that negative thoughts hold over us and create space for more constructive and empowering ways of thinking. Thought diffusion can be particularly useful in situations where we tend to get caught up in rumination or overthinking, allowing us to let go of unhelpful thoughts and focus on what truly matters in the present moment. Implementing Cognitive Behavioral Techniques Cognitive behavioral techniques encompass a range of strategies designed to address negative thought patterns and their associated behaviors. These techniques include cognitive restructuring, behavioral experiments, exposure therapy, and problem-solving skills training, among others. Cognitive restructuring involves identifying and challenging distorted thoughts, replacing them with more balanced and rational ones. Behavioral experiments involve testing the validity of negative beliefs through real-world experiences. Exposure therapy helps individuals confront feared situations or stimuli gradually, reducing anxiety and desensitizing negative associations. Problem-solving skills. Training teaches individuals effective ways to approach and solve problems, reducing feelings of helplessness and promoting a sense of control. By implementing these cognitive behavioral techniques, individuals can develop the skills and resilience needed to overcome negative thought patterns and live more. Fulfilling Lives Practicing Cognitive Distancing Cognitive distancing involves stepping back from our thoughts and observing them from a more objective perspective. Instead of fully identifying with our thoughts and allowing them to dictate our emotions and behaviors, cognitive distancing allows us to view our thoughts as passing events in the mind. This technique helps to reduce the intensity of negative thoughts by creating a sense of separation between ourselves and our thoughts. By practicing cognitive distancing, individuals can gain a greater sense of control over their thought processes and prevent themselves from becoming overwhelmed by negative thinking patterns. This approach fosters a more balanced and adaptive mindset, enabling individuals to respond to challenges with greater clarity and resilience. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Using imagery-based techniques. Imagery-based techniques harness the power of visualization to challenge and transform negative thought patterns. By vividly imagining positive outcomes or alternative perspectives, individuals can counteract negative beliefs and emotions. 
For example, individuals may visualize themselves successfully overcoming challenges, achieving their goals, or confronting their fears with confidence. Additionally, guided imagery exercises can help individuals create mental images of calming and soothing scenes, such as a peaceful beach or a serene forest, to reduce stress and anxiety. Through repeated practice, imagery-based techniques can rewire the brain's neural pathways, promoting more adaptive and resilient thinking patterns. These techniques offer a creative and engaging approach to cognitive restructuring, empowering individuals to break free from the cycle of negative thinking and embrace a more positive outlook on life. Challenging negative thoughts. Challenging negative thoughts is a fundamental aspect of cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, and is key to breaking free from harmful thinking patterns. It involves identifying and examining the validity of our negative thoughts, as well as exploring alternative perspectives. One effective technique in challenging negative thoughts is the ABCDE method, which involves breaking down a negative thought into its components, activating event, belief, consequence, disputation, and effective new belief. By systematically analyzing our thoughts in this way, we can uncover irrational or distorted beliefs and replace them with more rational and balanced ones. Additionally, keeping a thought record or journal can help us track our negative thoughts and the evidence for and against them, empowering us to challenge them more effectively. With practice, we can learn to recognize when our thoughts are unhelpful or inaccurate and develop the skills to replace them with more constructive alternatives. Engaging in pleasant activities. Engaging in pleasant activities is an effective way to counteract negative thought patterns and boost our mood and overall well-being. These activities can be anything that brings us joy, relaxation, or a sense of fulfillment, whether it's spending time in nature, pursuing a hobby, listening to music, or spending quality time with loved ones. The key is to intentionally carve out time for these activities in our daily lives, even when we're feeling overwhelmed or unmotivated. Research has shown that engaging in pleasant activities can increase the production of neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin, which are associated with feelings of happiness and contentment. Additionally, pleasant activities provide a welcome distraction from negative thoughts and can help us build a repertoire of coping skills for managing stress and adversity. By prioritizing activities that bring us joy and fulfillment, we can cultivate a more balanced and enjoyable lifestyle, which in turn can help us Break free from the grip of negative thought patterns. Reframing perspectives. Reframing involves shifting our perspective on a situation in order to see it in a more positive or empowering light. One powerful reframing technique is cognitive restructuring, which involves identifying and challenging negative interpretations of events and replacing them with more realistic and adaptive ones. For example, if we receive constructive feedback at work and immediately interpret it as a personal failure, we can reframe it by seeing it as an opportunity for growth and improvement. Another reframing technique is gratitude reframing, which involves finding something to be grateful for in even the most challenging situations. By intentionally seeking out the silver lining or positive aspects of a situation, we can train our brains to focus on the good rather than dwelling on the negative. Reframing can be a valuable tool for breaking free from negative thought patterns because it helps us cultivate a more optimistic and resilient mindset, enabling us to approach life's challenges with greater confidence and flexibility. If you have any thoughts or experiences you'd like to share, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you found this content valuable and insightful, remember to hit the like button below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more empowering content like this. Thank you for joining us today, and until next time,